back in the 80s, I'm in this nightclub called Stanley's in Sherman Oaks. I met this nice little 26-year-old blonde girl, and she said to me after talking for a while, would you like to come over? Well, sure. So she said, you know, my roommate isn't here, and she's got a king-size bed, so we can go in there. So I said, okay. She said, you know, this is my roommate's room, and she, she was Miss America. Her and I ended up seeing each other for a little while. Five years later, I'm in the same place, Stanley's again. I meet another girl. She says you want to come over to my place? I said, okay. We pull in, we go into the unit. It's the same unit. We're in the same bedroom again. She says, you know, my roommate it was, was Miss America, and she's not here right now, so we can use her bedroom. And I'm thinking to myself, this is the second time I've been in Miss America's bed, and I've never met the Miss America. I got drafted and went to Vietnam. Being there and being a young kid and getting through all of that, really gave me a sense of I can be in the world and do what I want and nobody tells me what to do now. I was interested in photography. I started calling on a lot of talent agencies so they started sending me work. Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, Perry Como, Jaja Gabor, James Coburn, Marlon Brando. I photographed Mickey Rooney before he died. I got to be a photographer in Hollywood for 35 years on the corner of Hollywood and Vine. There was no reason that I should have got out of Vietnam without a scratch. I got to come home to live the life that others didn't get to live.